Hi, people. So, we got uh, quite the stack of stuff going on. Um, three VCRs, five alarm clocks, this clock, my cup of milk, all of this. Uh, we're not, we're ignoring this VCR for now. Um, but yeah, bam. So, uh, we haven't had a power outage, but man, aren't power outages fun? <laughs> get all of them blinking differently except the spartus and the windsor uh those are perfectly in sync um and uh the jc penny and the timex here seem to be perfectly in sync blinking on and off with each other and then none of the vcrs are in sync at all um but yeah so what we're going to do today for our experiment, very scientific. So I'm gonna leave all of these clocks on, uh, on and plugged in for a week. Um, you get them all, all of the times set on them to match this clock by the second ish, give or take uh, a little bit, um, a bit less than a second, um, and then we will uh, come back here day after day for that entire week. Uh, and see how well they uh, keep time with each other. Um, so yeah, bam. Uh, look at the rat's nest we got going here to have them all plugged in. This is taking up eight uh, electrical outlets. You see we have a full power strip back here and another, um, another cable here. Again, ignore this because that's the disassembled VCR back there. I just happen to have it here. So yeah. Uh, so we all, all this will be our uh, reference clock here, uh, the lacrosse technology. Um, this will be our reference clock. It's very accurate, I know, because we've had it uh, going for the past several years, maybe even past decade, and it's been perfectly fine. Um, and it's only drifted like a minute at most or something crazy. I've never noticed it drift at all. So very accurate clock in my experience so we're going to get all of these and see how they uh how they are um so yeah um i guess i'll start setting things so let's see can i put this here and you still like see things there we go i can move that to see me setting all the different clocks so um, uh, yeah, let me start setting them. So, first I will, uh, start with this, uh, Toshiba VCR. We'll get them all set according to the uh, lacrosse technology clock. Um, and then we will just leave them all going for a week and see how they all hold up. So I'm going to put that down here. I'm going to work on setting this one. So it is uh, Thursday. Uh, day. Thursday. Hour is uh, 10 p.m. Uh, and then minute is 37. Um, yeah, and then we'll wait a bit for it to get to 38 here. Um, I'll just keep doing this so it doesn't quite activate the time yet. Um, and then when it hits 38, I'll hit the clock set button here. So, um, I'm just gotta wait 20 more seconds. This is the boring part of the video where I actually set all of the clocks. Uh, this is probably a video I would have made if I had a YouTube channel about a decade ago, <laughs> which is interesting. Um, because uh, I was super into clocks for a while, as my family will know. Okay, 37. Okay, 10.38 and 10.38. Perfect. Now let's get the uh, zenith going. Let's see, I'm going to move this chair a bit out so we can see the clock on that. And I'll move that back in there so that that's more locked in place. There we go. Um... Uh, so, open this door here, set it to clock adjust, and then uh, the day is 
Thursday. Uh, whoops. What day is uh, Thursday? It is. Oh, I didn't select it. Whoops. There we go. Uh, it is 10 p.m. Um, 39. And then uh, it's only a few more seconds, so we'll see about that. Bam. 10.39, 10.39, 10.39. Okay, now we'll go up to do the Magnavox VCR here. <sighs> so, um, there's a good place I can put this where I'll still see it. There we go. I can see the lacrosse technology just back up there where I had it. So we're going to hit clock. It is Thursday, select 10 p.m. Uh, oh, wait, I hit clock again on accident uh, there. And then it is uh, 10.40. I'll put it on 39 and then alternate it back and forth so it doesn't quite activate the clock for about 20 seconds or so. Um, as you can see, the Spartus and the Windsor have kept time uh, with each other along with the JCPenney and the Timex. So we're doing good there. Okay. And then right now. Perfect. We got 1040, 1040, 1040, and 1040 there uh, all with each other, it does seem. So now I will do the Hitachi uh, portable VCR tuner unit. This is the Hitachi uh, Video Tuner v VT-TU65A. Uh, it's for the Hitachi, um, uh, man, what is it? I think it's just the Hitachi VT6500A. Um, so yeah, come in here. Clock set, the day is Thursday, the hour is 10, and it's going to be 10.30, uh, 10.41, so I'll alternate that back and forth here with these tiny chiclet keys, which actually feel really nice. I really like them. Um, so yeah, here we go. 40, back, there we go. It's set to 1041. Bam. Okay. Now let's get to the Spartus set. I'm going to temporarily move the Windsor. Um, it's kind of hard to see the Spartus, but it is here. Uh, so I'll hold time down. I'll put hour to 10 p.m. I'll move the minutes to 39. Um, I'll do it to 40 there and then I'll wait um, um, until it gets closer to this because I have to hold the button down to, to set the time so uh, it's kind of different to reset the time here um, so I'll wait until it's about 10 seconds or so uh, until the correct time uh, and then I'll press it go up one and then right there okay 1042, 1042, 1042, 1042, 1042, 1042. Awesome. Now we'll do the wind soar. Um, uh, so it's basically the same procedure of hitting time, getting hour to the correct spot at 10 p.m., getting minute to the correct spot at about 10.40. Um, um, and then uh, letting go for a bit and waiting until the until uh, our uh, lacrosse technologies clock says uh, about 10 seconds ish to the correct time and then we'll uh, continue setting this to the correct time so 42 we'll wait about the seven ish seconds there and then right there and all of them are 1043. I can tell it's still within a second easily because it's like all of them changed. Uh, okay. And then we will do this. Um, we'll do the JCPenney. This one has a date feature. So I'll actually be able to use this date feature on this clock here. Uh, so we'll see that here. <clears throat> so I will uh, come up here and hit um, calendar and put calendar at 
um, let's see, put it seven six, July. Um, I had to repair the buttons on this myself, so it's kind of finicky. There we go, July sixth, and then I will um, I'll we'll wait the extra minute up here, um, and then I'll get time. Put that to um, ten p.m. here. Um, it goes kind of slowly, so yeah, doesn't really go work good for me pressing it quickly. There we go, and then I'll get that to about ten thirty-nine, I believe, ten forty, um, and then we'll uh, get that good on the next go around of the minute here. Um, there we go, ten forty, and then I will come. Uh, I'll do that in just a bit. So, bam. Uh, <laughs> almost done setting all of these. We gotta wait for about 30 more seconds for the JC Penny, and then we'll do the Timex, and then we'll have our experiment started. Um, so, bam, we're doing good. And all of them do still say the correct time. I haven't misset any of them, so we're doing good. Okay, now is the time to get that to 44, and then uh, jam my button in, my finger into the button for 45, but I didn't quite do it because it still says 44. So, uh, whoops, I'll wait till uh, the next minute here for that. I'll drink some of my milk. I'm lactose intolerant. I don't know why I have this much milk. Was super constipated earlier from it, too. Um, <laughs> so. Awesome. But yeah, told you the buttons are jank, so I had to really jam my finger into it, and it still didn't quite go. So uh, we'll do uh, this one. Time is there. Minute is there. Uh, we'll wait until it gets to about the right time here. Uh, at 40. I'll, I'll wait till 55. Um, and then we'll try it. 55. And then... Ah, oh, dang it! Really does not want to go, does it? Okay. Um, that one will be a few seconds off. I'm going to unplug and replug that one. For now, we'll do the Timex up here. Because <laughs> um, this one is being a pain to set. So I'll have to redo the calendar and stuff. But yeah, this one's too close to the ceiling, so I'm going to bring it down here to do. Uh, so I'm going to get the time, uh, hour will go to 10, uh, and then the minutes will go to uh, 46, yeah, 46, not 36, um, okay, uh, ignore the battery low indicator, I purposely took the batteries out of this, um, okay, 46, and then we'll get to... 47 at the proper time here. Bam, 47. Now that one's good. And now we'll have, and yep, that this uh, JCPenney is about four seconds slow. So uh, we'll have to get that one going. Let me see, let me find which one this is plugged into here. Um, so I don't accidentally unplug a different clock. Um, Let's see, it does seem to be that one. So I'll unplug this. Come on, come out of the socket. There we go. I did get the right plug. It turned off, awesome. So I will go <coughs> plug that bad boy back in there. You can see it's flashing 1201 again. So uh, now I will uh, redo this, um, redo the date and then I'll redo the time and hopefully we'll get that good. Um, let's see. I've been going for 15 minutes, just about, well, just of setting clocks. Okay, calendar, um, seven, and then six. Okay, there, bam. And now I will do time, hour, get it to, um, yeah, I really doesn't like doing that. Um, I'll get that to 10 p.m again 10 okay and then we'll get minute close uh, and but not quite there as I've been doing 
previous to this. Um, go fast, you're running out of time. It's legit scary. Um, okay. Um, we'll get it to 48. Dang it, I got it to the wrong hour. Oh well, uh, I'll redo that in just a bit. 49. I got it this time. Yay! So now I will redo the hour and I'll check if that's still uh, compliant with all the rest of them. And if it is, we're good. So I'll quickly redo the hour here because I accidentally advanced it one. Um, so I'll quickly bring that back to 1049 and not 1149. Oh, oh I went past it again. Dang it. Pay attention to the AM PM sign, idiot. Okay. There's PM, go to 10. Huh. Sounds familiar from somewhere. I wonder where I've, where I've heard that before. Okay. Now we'll see if that uh, changes at the proper time with the rest of them. I hope it does. Um, it would certainly be good. It might not, though. So, eh, that'll be fun. Um, let's see, 1049. Hey, it did. It's at 10.50. Okay. We successfully have all of the clocks at 10.50 within a second of the lacrosse technology. We got the Timex, we got the JCPenney, we got the Windsor, the Spartus, the Hitachi, the Magnavox, um, uh, the Zenith, and the uh, Toshiba, all set within one second of the uh, lacrosse technology. I'll try to get a bunch of these in frame. I can't get all of them in frame, but I'll try to get a bunch of them in frame as they all tick over. So you can see they're all accurate and I'll do it with the, uh, I'll get one of the ones that was in frame before in with the VCRs as well so you can see it. Um, uh, and then I will um, uh, show, um, and then I'll probably end the video. Bam, just about good. And then I'll come down here and get VCRs in frame. Yeah, I can get these in frame. So I'll get the Spartus, the Magnavox, and the Hitachi in frame, which you couldn't really see earlier. And then I'll go down with the uh, Magnavox. The, uh, I'll get all three of those, so. It'll just be kind of boring until that flips, so we'll just wait about 30 seconds or so here. Um, <laughs> yeah, really bringing me back to my to my roots here. Probably a video I would have made about nine years ago. I was six then. Okay. And right now, you can see those all switched. And now I'll come down here and get all of these in frame so you can see all of the VCRs click because you saw this one go with the rest and you saw the rest go with that. So, bam, we'll just make sure we have a, a full transparency of the things. Uh, the future videos will be much shorter because they won't show um, me setting all the clocks, which took a long time. Um, so yeah, um, we just gotta wait about 25 more seconds or so. Um, also, I do have a couple analog clocks in here, that's why there's ticking, but uh, they're not set with this and they're not part of this. Uh, they're much more finicky to set. I might do that sometime though, not sure. So, bam, about five seconds. And there, so all of them do it. And just to make sure, I'll get that with a good shot of the lacrosse technology with the Timex, which you saw flip earlier. Um, so yeah, about 50 seconds, and then we'll be good. Um, so we know for a fact they're all within about a second of each other. Um, <laughs> There's a nice uh, electrical hum 
coming from all the VCRs and stuff with the old uh, Transformer power supplies in them. It's very fun. <laughs> Yeah, the clicking sounds so soothing. I really love them. Some people are annoyed by that. I really like it. And there we go. That one actually went a tad before, but it was still within a second. So we're good. Bam. So come back again. There we go. We have all eight of my clocks. One, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the reference clock all set within a second of each other. So I will come back in a day at about 11 p.m. or so uh, to show the progress and um, show uh, how well they're keeping up with each other, just like I have in this video. And I'll do that for a week and we'll see how well they keep up with each other through that whole thing so yeah uh thank you guys for watching and i am out and uh i like wood grain alarm clocks they're very nice very good spart is probably my favorite aesthetically of these tiny ones i love it i love it so much and even i probably prefer it to this big one although this display looks pretty dang cool and it dims so it, it can save itself a lot of uh uh wear on it it's pretty cool so yeah thanks for watching and i am out again